So change uh, the names of the wider community. This is what uh, Tamsin is going to tell us about. I'm so glad that I'm following your discussion when you were saying land use in primary one up until the very end. So, I'm Amani Tamsin. I am a development officer for Fife in Council. I'm for Asha and the development officer for Fife. And um, I'm the confident as um, my normal job is as a primary head teacher. But I, I was a real primary teacher at one point, and my mm -hmm. passion has always been working with young children in nursery and primary one. I couldn't tell you what my favourite was, but that's where my passion was with young children. And if you are privileged enough to be a parent in here, I'm sure that you'll appreciate, you know, how wonderful young children are. I wanted to plead my daughter at three. <laughs> So we talked about planes, we've talked about siblings, and could I just say that I like I'm trying to put sparkle <laughs> <laughs> into my own life. <laughs> so, so in Fife, we our, our values are that we care about people and we want to look very closely at um, obviously um, closing and tearing like that and looking at um, areas of deprivation things, but, and I'm sure that you all have exactly the same sort of key words, etc. But I think that my sort of passion lies in supporting young people in Scotland uh, and the designation of young school. I'm not talking just about young people at secondary, I mean our young people from the moment they're born and give them every chance at any start in life. So we were all children once, young, and uh, we were children once. Yes. yes. So, <laughs> on the home page of the Power Language platform, it says we want to enhance the learning and teaching modern languages at all levels, not just first level and on. So, I want to think about us, the real children. So, I, I did think that there were going to be about 60 people here, so I'm sorry if any of you feel that um, you sing like a stew, because yesterday Sophie said to me that I said, Will you come in? She said, um, Je chante comme uh, un cadre mm -hmm. So if you feel like you sing like a stew, I, I don't have any triangles with me. As a teacher of young children, I always gave the ones who could sing triangles. <laughs> Does anybody not know this? Right? There is a point to this one. So I'm going to start on this note. Are we ready? Forever shocker, forever shocker. Santiago, duermes tú, duermes tú, toca la 
las campanas, tocan las campanas, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Did you go to Humery? So this table and the table behind, Ruben's doing it in Spanish, Ruben's doing it in German, because you've learned it now, and you've got to do it in French. We're all doing it at the same time, we're not going to do the rhyme. We're not going to do the rhyme. So walk down the snows and One of them um, goes along with a bigger cluster in um, five of them. And I am doing sort of two things at the same time with help from my um, platform colleagues. So Carmen and I on Monday morning, and I did have a picture of, of us together, a selfie. Well, a selfie with two is that a double? I think. <laughs> um, Carmen looks so beautiful. I thought I'd put the picture up. You'd, you'd think it was a game of paint the chains on the camera, so we're not having that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dove Library is in Dunfermline, and it's a, a beautiful library. Um, when there, um, I think it's next week, their librarians are going to go to um, train them with colleagues from Sound 2 yet. Um, but Carmen and I were at the Cordia Library on Monday, and we trained librarians there, and our instructors <coughs> from the local school to come and listen and learn some. Rhymes in German, Spanish, and French. 
and we had a laugh, I have to say. Everybody was seeing there to start with, and on a Monday morning you're thinking, I mean, I'd love to in any time, but you're thinking, right, everybody's going to be up for singing? Well, we had a ball, and they were really enthusiastic, and what was great is in the afternoon, I got emails from some of my dear ones saying that they'd all been singing at lunchtime, <laughs> looking at the rounds and things. So the next fruit club session they have with their families, they're going to be singing some songs in Spanish and French and German. And all the parents get copies of the songs as well. What's great is that we have a lot of bilingual students in class, a few have two. So I've said to, in the, I've been working closely with the head of the libraries and said, you know, let's try and introduce into, you know, each library, if people come in and say, well, actually I am Polish, and we can introduce them in songs there. I haven't done in translations, you know, I haven't said, well, let's do two of and things, we'll start in French, German, Spanish. No, I've asked, in, and again, had colleagues from the platform, who gave me traditional songs in German, Germany and, and Spain and France, so that it's not, that it's really looking at the culture as well, and not just children come into the family nurture centres, we're, we're looking at trying to um, sort of encourage them to speak English, um, which is the first language anyway. Um, so we're still looking at languages there, but I'm saying, well, I'm giving you money to buy resources for one plus two, but if English is a language that you still need to develop, then you still get the same sort of resources and talking maths, talking tests, etc. So that we're encouraging spoken words, whether it be Um, so that, that's what we're doing at the moment. It's just started. I will be able to tell you all how it's going um, once we've, we've uh, completed the search. So 
I can't imagine that anybody's going to say they don't like getting three groups in their classroom <laughs> to support one area of the paper. I can't imagine that's going to happen. And I can't imagine that parents are not going to enjoy singing and learning different languages, languages as well in their um, group class sessions. So I'll let you know how it goes. I've been talking to um, one of the leaders of the Scottish Group Trust, but I believe that no other um, area feels at the moment. So, you know, if we can spread the word and get young children learning. Um, and also, we were talking earlier about working in inter-authority. The um, Edinburgh Lothians um, group <coughs> meet with me, or I meet with them. And the next time we're meeting in January, we're going to be looking at early level even aids. Because for whatever reason, the government have decided that, you know, they're just going to stick with first level. Well, we think that, you know, our, our staff and our, our children are certainly in that. We're going to come up with our own sort of thing. Um, so I'm happy if anybody else wants to come to that, please email me and you know you can come to you, we're at French Institute. Um, but I also once we've, once we've developed those, we'll share them with everybody. Um, I mean they won't be, you know, 